design a VHDL model for an 8-bit ripple carry adder using a structural design approach. Okay? You will first create a half adder, which is going to be called half underscore adder dot VHD. Okay? And that's pretty easy. Would you agree that that's pretty easy? And then what you're going to do is button those guys up into another system, which we'll call full adder. Okay? And then the full adder will, you know, you know how to build that. You do two half adders and an orange eight. And then what you'll do is you'll pump it together. You'll put eight of them together, eight full adders, and create a 8-bit uh, adder. Okay? And this is what the entity would look like. Okay? Now, you're going to do, it's going to be called RCA, Ripple Carry Adder. It's 8 bits. The inputs A and B are going to be 7 bits long. Not even close. 8 bits wide, 8 bits wide, and the output's going to be this guy. Okay? And you're going to simulate this thing, but you know what you're going to do? You're going to insert one nanoseconds of delay for every basic gate. Okay? And then you're going to be able to watch it ripple through. So let's take a look at how you do this. I'm not, I don't want to give you the answer to this, but it's in the book. So I kind of already did. Okay? Available on Amazon. So I come up to you and I say, how do you build a half adder? Well, my God, look how easy it is. All you do is you got A and B, sum and C out. And sum is nothing more than AX or with B. This is a concurrent signal assignment with logical operators, which is just a bleh. You know, you just, there it is. You assign AX or with B. C out gets A and with B. And then this is a blast from the past. Do you remember how to do delay? <laughs> there it is. There it is. After one nanosecond. Okay, that is now going to give me some delay. It's not very uninteresting if you actually simulated just one half adder, but it becomes sweet when you look at it ripple through. Okay, let's build a full adder. You want to build a full adder? We got to instantiate our half adder. So how do we do that? Check this out. All I'm going to do is come down here. I'm going to take my half adder, which I built, put it as a component, and then I will instantiate it two times, wire it up accordingly, and when I did that, did I already put the delay in there, or do I need to do some delay right here? Delay is already there. However, when you go to OR that last puppy together, so when you go to do this thing right here, where you say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I need my OR gate right there, that does not have any delay because that lives at this level. So this is going to be one nanosecond right there. Then you pump it all together. God, I mean, I literally gave you all the VHDL for this homework assignment. Then you're going to do four, this is a four bidder, but check this out. All you do is instantiate those four, and the only hard part about it is how do you handle the input of a zero? It's not even hard. You could create a signal at zero. Or remember from lab how you could actually put logic values in the port mapping. So if you look at how we do this, this guy could be, instant, or can be inserted by just putting zero right there. And that's what your top level looks like. So the test bench for this is where you get to kind of do something cool. If you're going to have an 8-bit input, if the numbers are unsigned, what can you count up to? 0 up to, does anybody remember? And then 1, 9, or bravo. Does anybody remember? <laughs> well, if we could count it out, it's like eh, 1 bit gives you, you can go to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So you can go up to 256 unique codes or 0 to 255. That is how you could, you could take A and go from 0 up to 255. You know what would be sweet, though? Why don't we take 0 up to 255 on A, and for every value of A, let's add it to every possible value of B. So why don't we say A is 0, and then take B and have it go A, B is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 255. And then increment A again, and then do that again. Then do that and that. So how many possible input codes could we, could we generate? 255 multiplied by 255, which is, does anybody remember that one? Lots. Okay. Don't put this as one statement, copy and paste it 65,000 times. Is there a programming structure which might allow you to do things like get into a nested loop where you increment thingamajigs left and right? Nested for loops, you say? Exactly. What, I, what you're going to do is use two nested for loops in order to generate the actual input 
vectors to stimulate each and every possible input pattern. And you're like, there's no way in hell you're going to give me the code for this. I gave you the code again. This is how you would do it.